All right, everybody, welcome back to Clark's Place. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how to connect an airbrush like this to a compressor like this, using some giant hoses like these, through regulators like these, and line dryers, and another regulator like this, in line that you can adjust as you're spraying to eventually work on any project and hopefully adjust up pressures to use uh, some of the thicker paints that don't flow through the really, I'd say below 0.7 tipped airbrushes. So we'll see how all that works. I have this Awada compressor that's super quiet and I use it for almost all my projects. And it usually has, uh, I don't know, probably 30 PSI or so, but I've run into using colors like these thicker glow paints have been the, the kind of the start of all of this uh, project of mine to use the big compressor instead of this one because they're so dang thick. I even bought a couple new airbrushes that we're going to try out for some future projects and some other videos. So we'll see if using the bigger compressor, this one here, actually does not have any uh, pressure adjustment on it. Uh, if you know that it does, and I just haven't figured it out, I've looked all over the dang thing for pressure adjustments, uh, but have not seen any. Uh, maybe this does do something, but I thought it did, but I can't see how to adjust the spraying pressure out of this gun. Uh, it's worked great for me for all my projects, but I need some more pressure and a bigger tip to do the glow paint projects that I've been doing for the Metallica. So um, we'll go through some things, some tools that I bought and what it takes to get it hooked up to the big line compressors and links will be in the bottom for all the stuff that I bought to do this. So let's get to it. Okay, here's my airbrushes basically. This is the brand new one that I just got. It's the HP BCS that has the bottom bottle fill right there. Uh, and then I bought these uh, Pash bottles that uh, seem to be really well seem to work really well uh, for a lot of people There's my go-to gun that I always use is the Awada Eclipse and then I just got that uh, Kind of burgundy handled one at the bottom there. That's the Pash uh, VL series and then I've got a bunch of other cheaper airbrushes and some others in another case. That's a master airbrush there that has worked pretty good too, and you can regulate pressure at the bottom there, but I wanted something like this that I can see how much pressure exactly as I turn that dial there. So that's kind of where we're headed. I was disappointed with this uh, VL from Coast Airbrush as it I bought it basically by itself, and it's got a really small um, connector tip there. It's not like all of the other guns that you get. So uh, I'll insert a picture of the connector kit that I got right here. That is uh, this along with a lot of the little uh, connectors for the quick disconnect, which I've got those on all of these. And that quickly connects with all of these. So I wanted this on the same system, but it's got a smaller tip. And this kit did not come with it, so I'll open up. I just got in the mail today. I'll show you here. So I got from eBay this little connector, uh, quick disconnect that I'm going to put on that gun. I uh, bought, which it's this number here, I believe, uh, from looks like uh, Pittsburgh Spray. And then I bought these adapters too, which take it from uh, the larger size that is basically the eclipse size to i think it's a quarter npt let's see what this says hf116 adapter pash airbrush company but this doesn't really fit anywhere in there there's no threaded spot so uh maybe for a different pash gun i thought i was ordering the right thing but at least i've got one quick disconnect here that'll put that on there so okay so the quick disconnect does connect right on you can hear that but I'm gonna try to connect this gun to the big compressor that's what this video is about so we'll show you how to do that all right so where I am right now 
is I've got a standard airbrush hose that I'm going to have hook up to the regulator so that can thread there. And then this is part of that main kit that I got. I think it's just a union quarter to quarter NPT that will thread into the back side of that. Uh, the other end will come around and it's a standard airbrush like all the Awadas. Not, not this one though because this one is a lot thinner. Uh, I had to buy that specific for the Pash. And I showed you a second ago those, these other uh, connectors they take a regular airbrush fitting down to a quarter NPT. So uh, basically this will connect into this. You can see that's quick disconnect. This also can regulate the air that goes through. And then this will connect with this standard connection. And then I will put um, another little air dryer possibly into here that would screw right in and then a standard connection that will go right into uh, a standard big compressor airline. So I'm hoping I'm regulating this, regulating it back at the compressor, turning the air down, that I could turn it down to, I don't know, 90 PSI, and then I can adjust this down to whatever pressure with this knob to give me the desired pressure spraying through this airbrush. So uh, I'll button it all up with some of the Teflon tape, and hopefully we won't have some air leaks, and I'll show you that it works. All right, so you see this end here is tied into the line ties into the quick disconnect, which is ties into that. Quickly connects, got air pressure. This can cut the pressure to where there's nothing or, or open it to where it's wider and wider. And then you've got your regulator there. I'm running a hundred pounds through it right now and then you can adjust it with this right here. So a uh, little change from what I showed you earlier. I had a union in there, but my connection, the, uh, this connector for the air compressor hose leaked in this one. So I just put in a male one that screwed right into this. So that quickly is how you get an airbrush working with your giant compressor over there. So, so. That's it for this video. That's how you do it. Hope you learned something and got any questions, give me an email at clarksplace at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.